Colson's main mission is to provide a full suite of aerial firefighting tools, including lead planes or bird dogs as they're called in Australia, to the air tankers, um, both fixed wing and rotor wing. Our job as a aerial firefighters are to protect the uh, lives and their property and the national forest and all the, uh, the beauty that's here in this country. So. Part of the design of the C-130 was for aerial delivery. So uh, down on the fire, dropping the retardant and maneuvering, it's, uh, it's at home. It's one of the, the funnest things I've ever done in, uh, in aviation. We're rebuilding the C-130 for a few reasons. They're a dependable airframe that have a long history. They're well suited to the task as it's very close to the mission they were designed to do in the first place, which is cargo carrying and getting into tight places. With the C-130, we can take off with 36,000 pounds of retardant or 4,000 gallons and pre-position to another tank brace with, with a load of retardant. So it saves uh, time and money. With the uh, RAD system, we can see where we actually dropped and everything. So post-drop, it's a, it's a great tool to, uh, to hone the skills. The reason we do this sort of process to the aircraft is because when delivered, the avionics that come with it are not only out of date, they're actually military avionics and only have partial usefulness in a commercial environment. Probably by the end of the project, I'm sure at least around 100 people will have laid hand on the aircraft. So even though the retardant delivery tank seems like the biggest part of the aircraft in the end and its main reason for being, for us uh, in the avionics department, it's actually the smallest part of the job. One other thing to note is that uh, at our fuel levels that we carry on this bird, uh, we're able to loiter or uh, fly over the fire for large amounts of time, for hours. Um, whereas uh, some of the other air tankers are a lot tighter on fuel and would have to go back to refuel a lot more often. We can quickly, with just a couple touches of the screen, we can change the uh, coverage levels. Oftentimes, down on the fire, that coverage level prescribed changes pretty dynamically. So. We're able to quickly do that and also we don't need any extra crew members in the back so it's just us three up front and we can do everything we need. It's the best feeling when you've worked on it the whole time and then you see it operate. It's really something. We're just all around. Uh, every day we wake up, uh, we pack all our bags and, and load them on the plane so, so we're ready to, uh, to spend the night anywhere.